What's up, guys? Petman here, Carolina Varsity, and we're going to take a look at the big game this week. Um, number one and number two in the best of last. You got the Mallet Creek Mavericks going on the road once again, traveling over to Butler to play the uh, Butler Bulldogs. And, you know, these guys have played, you know, every year, and sometimes twice a year here the last few years, once in the regular season, once in the playoffs. And, you know, the thing with these games, uh, you, you always believe you feel one way or another going into it, and then the game comes out totally different. <laughs> so my thoughts going into it is it's going to be a defensive battle. You got two really good defenses here. Uh, Mallard Creek obviously played very well down in Dillon with their uh, four goal line stands and um, shutting that team down, holding them to three points that had a 37-game winning streak, three years in a row, state champions. And then you got Butler. And I've seen Butler uh, in the scrimmage against South Mac. Their defensive front seven is very impressive. Um, and then they dominated Olympic last week, led them 48 nothing at the half. And, you know, Olympic really didn't have a chance in the football game. So my early thought is it's going to be a defensive struggle. And usually when that happens, you know, it turns into an offensive shootout. <laughs> um, I'd be really surprised if it happened in this case. Um, you get keys to victory here for Mallard Creek. You got a Butler offense that's got a lot of talent, um, especially – um, at quarterback, obviously, with Davis Cheek returning, they got threats on the outside uh, with the transfer and Kusegi Kiriton from Barry. Uh, they got Dirk Kiriton, um, who's related to Kusegi as well. And, um, you know, four returning stars on the offensive line. So their defense has a heck of a challenge um, on them. And, um, you know, with, with the uh, Mallet Creek offense only scoring seven points last week, I, I think if you're the Mallet Creek defense, you feel you feel like you got to go out there and you got to take it and be the ones to uh, keep the Butler offense down because you you don't want the Butler offense obviously to get at get out get it going and scoring three and four touchdowns and making your offense come out of its character uh, and we know Mallet Creek wants to run the football first and foremost and wear teams down. Um. It's going to be a really, really interesting battle on the lines of scrimmage here. You got the Mallet Creek offensive line, and, um, you know, they only scored seven last week, so they had some trouble, you know, with Dylan, who's very talented. Don't look at the 2A ranking and or classification and think they're just a regular 2A team because they're not. Uh, but, you know, Butler is very, very good. Um in their front seven on defense with Maurice McLean at D tackle, Christian Dixon at linebacker. Um, I think this is a game where you got to open it up early on if you're Mallet Creek, let Chauncey Caldwell throw the football early on, get Ryan Jones involved on the outside to kind of try to loosen up um, that front seven or it could be front eight uh, for Butler at times, um, keying in to stop that running game. In the playoff game last year, uh, Mallet Creek won 35-30. to 30. Um, They did a good job of uh, running the football um, up front. And, um, you know, those guys are, are really going to be key. Uh, Darnell Walker, I think, has to have a big game, uh, really, to kind of control uh, the pace of the game that Mallet Creek wants to establish. And don't let that Butler offense get into a rhythm. Because once they do, um, they're, they're tough to stop. Um, I, I think Butler offensively, you got a hell of a defense <laughs> against uh, Mallet Creek here. I think you gotta th you ain't gotta throw the football, and their offensive line is gonna have to give Cheek time. If they give Cheek time up front, we've seen it throughout the past couple years. The way you beat Mallet Creek is throwing the football, and if they if they give them time to do that. Um, they could find success downfield, um, but that's going to be a heck of a challenge for the Butler um, offensive line. But the good thing is it's a strength for them. Now, how big of a strength is it? They're going to be tested by this Mallet Creek defensive front. Mallet Creek only blitzed once or twice last week against Dillon. I think they may have to do that a little more uh, this week. But not too much because you got talent on the outside for Butler that can take advantage of one-on-one -on -one matchups. 
So you got to be really smart and really strategic in how you send people or when you don't, maybe you zone blitz. The, the coaching battle in this game, you got two very good coaching staffs here. Obviously, Mallet Creek, you give them a slight edge for winning three state titles, but Butler has been through the wars is where Coach Hales has been there. Uh, defensive coordinator Coach Nahum, I have a ton of respect for as well. Um, and they've got a lot of former Butler players on that staff trained in the ways of how to win championships. So you got a really, really big heavyweight battle here down at Butler. This game's not going to be moved. It's at Butler. Gates open at 5 o'clock. Get there early. I think it's going to be a, a really good atmosphere here. Um, the Butler Stadium is not that big. So I think you're going to have a, a nice, really big crowd with a lot of um, emotion and a, a lot of fans excited to see a really good high school football game Friday night. I uh, hope the weather's nice. Um, hope everyone comes out healthy, play safe, and um, enjoy the game, guys. And we'll have somebody there capturing highlights. So uh, come to the site afterwards and uh, check it out. Thanks for watching.